What's up everyone, Snowy Minotaur here, and welcome back. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. To another video on the channel, and yeah, so I was actually going to be making a video on uh, freaking, I was going to be making my season 7 video about me talking about my th full thoughts about that on Saturday. Uh, well, change of plans, because we gotta talk about Team Rumble. Oh my freaking lord, dude. Okay, so if you guys don't remember, I made a video a while back talking about Team Rumble and why it was, why it's not in a good state. It really hasn't been. Ever since they nerfed the player count from 20 to 16, it has been terrible. I mean, absolutely terrible. The games have been very long and very boring. They always ended in the countdown times and everybody just left because everybody was just doing their challenges, okay? Which, I don't mind everybody leaving just for challenges because, I mean, yeah. But last season, it was so bad that literally every single day of that season, of Chapter 2 Season 6, it always ended, for me, I don't know if it ended for anybody else though, it always ended in the time, in the countdown time. Because of how many people are just leaving because of the lack of players. Well, Chapter 2 Season 7, they decide to update Team Rumble. And it was for the worst. So if you don't know what happened to Team Rumble, you can actually go check this out right now in game. Because they, they completely screwed up this game mode. Oh my god. Okay, so what they decided to do was to change the game mode because... Uh, this is their explanation, by the way. This is a post on Reddit, which I saw on Twitter. The There were Team Rumble changes that were intentional. These were done on purpose, and it focuses more on combat, less on exploring and looting. Ah, uh, for, first of all, with that little sentence right there, epic. You said that in the actual fucking game, okay? I don't like complaining. I don't. But, like, are you serious? Are you actually serious? Now, what did they actually change is the question which I think probably people are, well, that people are probably going to ask. And I can tell you what they did change. So, what they did was that basically when you spawn in and then once the battle bosses start going, you usually go to a different area on the map. It's usually cut in half. One side gets one, the other one gets the other. Pretty much it's mostly safe haven there unless if they're doing challenges or they just go over there. They decided to cut the map literally in half by, ha by having almost all... A ton of POIs are now in the storm. You, they are now in the storm, which is very stupid, okay? But they do show where the storm is going to be closing, which I think is a good idea. I think that one, they should have just shown it as soon as possible instead of just having it wait until the battle pluses go past each other and then it will show up. The, the time limit for you actually looting was five minutes. They nerfed that to one freaking minute. I am not kidding. What a stupid change. That is such a stupid freaking change, okay? Are you freaking serious? Like, what? A minute? No, but th this one, th this one thing right here, I actually do agree with here. And basically, if you see, when you spawn in, you get uncommon weapons. You get three uncommon weapons, which honestly, I like that idea. I do think that one... It's probably the best change out of this, and I don't see a lot of people complaining about you starting off with an un with a with three uncommon weapons, which is an uncommon AR, shotgun, and a sniper. I don't mind that. I think that's a great change. I think that's a good addition. Everything else, oh boy, <laughs> they made this game mode from being a bore a bore fest to probably the worst game mode in the game. Updated the game mode. For more focus on combat and less on explore, exploring and looting? Are you freaking serious? Not only this, it is now basically almost impossible to get down a lot of challenges which are on the sides of the map. You have to play solo, duos, trios, or squads in order to get that done. And the reason why people go into Team Rumble is to avoid skill-based matchmaking. That's the reason, because it's a lot more casual than regular game modes. And by doing this... Doing this type of change to make it go very fast and other stuff like that. I think there's another reason probably is because of how many people are leaving and that goes down. Yeah, sorry. And it goes down to a countdown, the countdown timer, and then it just ends the game right there for whoever has the most score. Epic. Newsflash. It's still happening. That doesn't 
freaking solve the issue. You made it even worse from doing this change by making the zones near impossible, like having it near impossible to get good guns. And then you go to the store zone. That's what it was meant for. That's what Team Rumble is supposed to be for. It's for you to get a whole bunch of loot, a whole bunch of good loot, go to the, go to the freaking zone to where everybody else is, and then you can fight. It's not meant to be instantly going like, okay, it has to be more in favor of in more intense and and chaotic combat, okay? Which, that's what it is when you get to the storm, or, no, sorry, when you go out of the storm and get into the actual zone. That's what it was before. Instead, everybody was just leaving because of challenges, which I think that's probably the biggest reason why they did this change was because a lot of people used it for challenges. And then, like, dude, I, I don't know. I'm jumbling up everything here. I really am, but this was a dumb change, Epic. The only thing which I actually do agree with here is starting off with a set of uncommon weapons. That's the only thing that I actually do agree with here. Everything else was absolutely horrible. Everybody is still leaving, by the way, because now you can't do challenges anymore. You can't do challenges anymore. You can't do the challenges. Like, just recently, we had a challenge which you have to search chest at Craggy and or Stealthy Stronghold. Not Stealthy Stronghold, freaking Steamy Stacks. That's impossible to do now in Team Rumble because now they're, they're in this. They're not even in the zone or in the circle, okay? Where you can actually loot. Five minutes of looting was fine. No one, I didn't know anybody who was freaking complaining about five minutes of looting. That's a plenty of time for you to get everything that you need. You can barely get mats now because of this. You can barely get mats. Any good weapons. Hardly anything. This was a horrific change to Team Rumble. And epic. For the love of God, please change this. Please revert this. I don't like, again, I said this before, I'll say it again. I don't like complaining. I really don't. But God damn it, there's got to be some freaking change to this because you can't just push this out 10 hours after the season. Yeah, I kid you not, they pushed this out 10 hours after the season launched. Just out of nowhere, here you go, here's the update. Without no testing it whatsoever, they pushed it out to live servers. They have not learned that lesson. This honestly reminds me quite a bit of when they nerfed the, uh, what, what was it? Turbo build. They nerfed turbo build in season X to help out new players. People go into Team Rumble because they're not really that great at the game. I'm not saying everybody is or anyone is or not. It's mostly there because it's casual. And by doing these types of changes, besides the weapon one, like spawning in with a weapon, by doing those types of changes, you made the game mode even worse. I'm sorry. I know for a fact there's a lot There's a lot of people pissed off about this. There's a lot of people who are really mad about this. Mostly because of the challenge part of it. But they're not looking at it as the actual points itself here. The game mode was already a bore fest. And by making it a lot faster, I think they tried to make... They tried to make it faster. That's what I'm trying to say here. But the execution of this idea was done horribly wrong. There was one thing... In my last video, which you can actually go watch, by the way, I'll put it, I'll put it in the description. How about that? The one thing which I want to see changed is to just add more players. The more players, there's going to be less people leaving the game. There's still going to be people leaving the game, but at least there's going to be that big amount of people on each other teams. So that means that they can have more chaotic and fun times. I'm just saying, focusing more on combat and less on exploring and looting is a bullshit excuse. I'm sorry. This is a horrible change to Team Rumble, and I can't believe they even did this. I don't know what else to say, but, like, just GG's, Epic. G freaking G. I have a headache already, so hopefully you all enjoyed this video about Team Rumble. I want to know your thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts about Team Rumble because it's in a horrible state. So hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so we don't miss any more videos. I don't feel like saying the other the first part. And obviously, don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed the video. <sighs> I don't want to make a third video about Team Rumble. Like, if they do change it, then I will talk about it. I will talk about it. Okay? Peace out, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>